paying their respects to a South African trailblazer. Steve Kalamazoo McConey was the first black South African to play football in Europe's top leagues during the 1950s and 60s. The former Coventry City, Barcelona, Marseille and Torino striker passed away last month at the age of 82. His wife Mercy carried Kalamazoo's ashes into the service. Among those in attendance, Winnie Mandela and the deputy president, Cyril Ramaphosa. This is a South African hero. This is a South African legend that we have got to honor. This is a South African that we've got to put firmly in the front of mind of all South Africans so that we can remember a hero who did not only play football, but a hero who played his football so that we can all be free. Today we are free because of people like Mugon. Hundreds attended the service at the FNB Stadium. Danny Jordan, the president of the South African Football Association, underlined Kalamazoo's importance to the country, both on and off the pitch. When we couldn't play worse than against white people in our own country, it was in that time that Steve Kalamazoo became the hero of, I assumed, essentially white clubs in Europe, of white fans and white football bosses in Europe. Debunking, saying this is nonsense, that black and white cannot play together. And in that situation where black and white play together, that is in fact the black player who becomes the hero of those white players in their own team. But there is a murky element to the McConey story. In 1978, he began a 12-year prison sentence for throwing chemicals into the face of his former wife and that of his former wife's attorney. At the time, he pleaded guilty, but he later maintained his innocence. Preceding those assaults, McConey was becoming increasingly politicised and outspoken against the then South African apartheid government. A book about the footballer, published in 2002, claimed the episode was a conspiracy and that Kalamazoo had been framed. Whatever the truth, this service was about celebrating the life of a groundbreaking South African footballer who has finally returned home. Dan Williams, CCTV, Johannesburg.